Hello everyone, welcome to our programming library. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about if statements. The if statements are also called the conditional statements and uh, they have uh, the syntax like this here. Um, the first statement here is the logical condition and whenever this logical condition is true, then the second block of statements, uh, which is the body of the loop, will be executed. If you see this syntax very carefully, uh, you will notice that um, this syntax is almost similar to the while loop that we have seen before. Uh, the only difference here in this case is that the loop does not run many times, um, but only run, run once. Uh, so let's see some example of the if statements. First of all here, we have a variable x uh, equals to 5. And if we set a logical condition uh, so that if x is greater than 2, then it's going to calculate the cube of x. And since x is 5 and this condition is true, always true, then uh, every time when, whenever this code is executed, uh, uh, it, it's, it's going to calculate the cube of uh, x, which is one and one and, and twenty five. Now, what happens if uh, the logical condition is uh, false in this case? Well, if this logical condition is false, then uh, the program will not execute. Uh, to avoid uh, such condition, uh, we can use uh, and uh, we can give another alternative called else statement uh, to. Uh, in addition to the if, if statements above. So, uh, let us see one example uh, using the else statement. So, let us say another, we have another variable y uh, which is minus 15 and if y is uh, greater than 0 or a positive number, then it is going to multiply uh, that y with 5 and if it is not, if this condition is false, then uh, the statements will simply calculate the square of variable y here. And since y is minus 15 here, uh, so the logical condition is always going to be false. So, it will skip uh, this part of the this first block of code and then it will directly calculate the square of the variable y using this second block of code here. So, the square of minus 15 will be 200 and 25. We can also use uh, two logical conditions uh, in if statements. So, for that, uh, I have a variable a, uh, which is a random number in between minus 10 and 10, and I have another variable b, which is also a random um, discrete number in between minus 10 and 10. Now, I, I have a if statements here. So, if a is greater than 0 and b is greater than 0, that is if both a and b are positive, then uh, uh, let us calculate the sum of the numbers and if this condition is false, that is if either a and b are negatives or um, either, either of them is negative and another is positive and then simply we multiply these numbers. Uh, so let's uh, let's uh, execute this whole block of code to see what will be our result. Okay, you can see here. Uh, so in this case, uh, a is three, a positive number. B is six, a positive number. So both are positive. So the first condition is satisfied. This condition is satisfied. So uh, the if statement will simply calculate the sum of these two numbers. Uh, so, the sum is 9 in this case. So, let us execute one more time the same block of code because we have uh, our random values of a and b. A and b. So, let us see what we will get in this time. So, in this case, we got our a negative and b positive. So, the first condition is not satisfied. Both are not positive. So, in that case, the second block of code is calculated. So, two numbers are simply multiplied in this case. So, minus 10 times 4 
is 40. Okay, so, uh, so that's all about um, simple use of the if statements. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope to see you guys in the next video.